So in this video, we have a uniform ladder, AB, of weight W newtons and length 2 L meters resting in equilibrium with its upper end A against a smooth vertical wall and its lower end B on a smooth inclined plane. The inclined plane makes an angle 10 degrees with the horizontal and the ladder makes an angle theta with the wall. Find theta. Okay, so this is a certainly a bit of a more scary kind of problem uh, with ladder because now it's on an inclined plane. Okay, so let's see how this works. Um, so we've got that it's a uniform ladder of weight W newton, so we can draw on that the weight acts through the center of the ladder and it's of length 2L meters, so this distance is L. Okay. Good start. Um, its upper end A is against a smooth vertical wall, so there'll be a normal reaction force to the wall. So let's call that RW. And um, the plane is smooth as well, so there will be a normal reaction force uh, perpendicular to the plane, so let's call that RP. Uh, let's call it RP. Um, okay, so um, that's what we've got so far. Now we probably want to put in a few more kind of uh, bits as we go, but let's see. Let's just start it off, shall we? Um, so first of all, we're going to resolve forces. So we're going to resolve vertically first, taking upwards as positive. Now. In order to do that, I'm going to need the um, component of RP. So let's take a look at that in a little bit more detail. So here's my plane. Um, here is my RP. And I need to split that up into its components. Now that angle there is 10 degrees. Okay, so let's continue that down. So if that's 10 degrees, that's going to be 80 degrees. Okay, so if that's 80 degrees, um, then um, this angle here would be 80 degrees, vertically opposite. Um, so... Uh, that is 90 degrees, and so that's going to have to be 10 degrees. Okay, so that's kind of proved myself that, oh right, that's, that angle's going to have to be 10 degrees. So this side here would be RP cosine 10 degrees. Okay, so resolving vertically, we're going to have RP cosine 10 degrees going upwards. And we've got the W Newton's force working downwards, and that's got to be equal to zero. Okay, so RP would have to be equal to W over cosine of 10 degrees. Right, okay, so that's uh, the first thing there. Now, if we resolve horizontally, uh, let's take to the right as positive. We've got the RW going to the right. Then we've got the component um, of uh, the RP force, which is that bit there, and that's going to be RP sine of 10 degrees. So take away RP sine of 10 degrees, and that's going to be equal to zero. So RW is going to be this times sine of 10 degrees, which will be W tan of 10 degrees. And that's my RW force. OK, so that seems to be going all right so far. Right, so now that I've done that bit, I can take moments. And I'm going to take moments about point B. Now, ordinarily, 
I would break W up into its components this way. But the problem is that I don't know what that angle is. I do know that that angle is theta, so that angle is theta. So I could work with 90 take away theta here, but I don't particularly want to do that. So instead, I will uh, break up W into its components this way. So I am L meters away from W sine theta, and that's going in an anti-clockwise motion. So we have L times W sine theta. Now we're 2L away from the our W force, so let's break that up into its components. Now if that is angle theta, that is angle 90 minus theta, and so that angle will be theta. Okay, so this bit here will be RW cosine theta. And don't forget, we've already worked out what RW is. Now we're 2L away from that, and that's going to be going around in a clockwise motion. So take away 2L times RW, which is W tan of 10 degrees, times cosine theta. And that's got to be equal to zero. So the L and the W cancel, so I can rewrite that as sine of theta is equal to, moving that over to the other side as well, uh, 2 tan 10 degrees cosine theta. If we divide through by cosine theta, then tan of theta must be equal to 2 tan of 10 degrees. So theta is arctan of 2 tan of 10 degrees. So inverse tan of 2 times tan of 10 degrees, and we get 19.4 degrees to three significant figures.